Hotter than the sands of Arrakis is the news that Dune Part 2 has officially been greenlit and with that comes a bunch of new characters that will need to be cast. These include Emperor Shaddam, Fade Rautha Harkonnen, Alia Atreides, and Princess Irulan. So I thought it would be fun to name my dream picks to fill out these roles. Here's your spoiler warning if you don't want to know what might happen in Part 2, but if you do, I have both my Dune 1984 ending explained and Children of Dune videos that cover these stories in much more depth. Let's start with notably the the biggest absence from part one, which is Emperor Shaddam. This was really interesting considering in the 1984 version he was such a prominent character, but it kind of makes sense since we don't actually see the Emperor in the flesh until about 700 pages into the book. I actually liked what Villeneuve did here by not showing him. He becomes this ominous presence, a man more powerful and dangerous than Baron Vladimir Harkonnen. In fact, the Baron says of the Emperor that he is a dangerous, jealous man. We also know that the Emperor is about 200 years old, being able to reach that age due to the ingestion of spice according to the 1984 version, and this spice longevity allows for a lot of flexibility in the Emperor's casting. I could see anyone roughly 50 plus playing this role. The first actor actually comes recommended to me on Twitter, and I like this suggestion, it's Mads Mikkelsen. He's just got this unique way about him and oozes this silent but intimidating energy. I could totally see him being a guy even the Baron would be a little scared of. The second option here is Ray Fiennes. Ray is no stranger in playing villainous roles, most notably Lord Voldemort, Francis Dollarhide in Red Dragon, and Aemon Goth in Schindler's List. He is the perfect blend of dangerous and jealous that Baron Harkonnen described. The last option I want to throw out there is Idris Elba. Historically, the Emperor has been portrayed as white, but we've seen Villeneuve switch things up, especially with characters like Liet Kynes. So who's to say the Emperor can't be a black man? And I think Idris would be a great fit. He's got that strong presence and has also played the most frightening character of all time, McCavity from Cats. Moving on in the Emperor's family is Princess Irulan Carino, the Emperor's eldest daughter. In the 1984 film, she was portrayed by Virginia Madsen and had very few lines, however casting here will be extremely important considering how large of a character she becomes beyond the original Dune novel. If you've seen my Children of Dune video or read the books, you'll know that Irulan will become Paul's wife. It's a political marriage to keep the universe from falling into all-out war. In fact, in part one, Paul even hints at this marriage when he tells his mom and kinds that he would marry one of the Emperor's daughters to avoid an all-out war. In my opinion, Irulan has to be the physical and emotional opposite of Cheney. She was born in a life of opulence, raised in the royal courts, and knows nothing of war and hardship. This person has to have a sense of fragility around them. I feel they should also be a similar age and stature to Timothy Chalamet. That being said, my first pick would be Anya Taylor-Joy. She's arguably one of the most in-demand actresses currently, and she'll have had experience playing a princess since she'll be starring alongside Chris Pratt in the new Mario movie. There's some vulnerability to her which I think would be a great advantage to the character. Another pick, Saoirse Ronan. She just has this great range to her. She can play a total badass like in 2011's Hannah and also these more down-to-earth characters. With this range, I think her and Villeneuve could craft something really interesting. Finally, I put down Florence Pugh. I thought she was fantastic in Midsummer and also has a pretty good range, whether it be something more traditional like Little Women, which Saoirse was also in, or a badass operative like in Black Widow. Now there is another character who is very important, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time discussing or casting because she's just a kid. That's Alia Atreides, Paul's sister. In part one, we learn that Jessica is pregnant, and at least in the 1984 version, the story advances several years until we see her about eight years old. I actually don't know how old she is here, I'm terrible with guessing ages. However, even this age is misleading because the 84 version says due to her mother's taking of the water of life while pregnant, Alia was born prematurely but grew up at an extreme pace. So when we see Alia like this, it's possible she's much younger than she appears. Finally, another huge absence from part one, Fade Rautha Harkonnen, the Baron's nephew and brother to Dave Bautista's Rabba, who was played by Sting in the 1984 adaptation. This character is kind of like the mirror image to Paul, having grown up as a part of a noble house and trained in various fighting techniques. Unlike Paul, 
Paul, however, he is completely ruthless, and the two have a big one-on-one -on -one fight during the story's climax. So whoever we cast here should be someone roughly the same size as Timothy Chalamet, maybe a bit bigger. We also have to consider that every Harkonnen we've seen in Villeneuve's version so far has been bald and pale, so they have to be able to pull off that look. This actor should be able to portray strength with a bit of a thief, edgy type vibe. This is someone who doesn't play by the rules and fights dirty to win. One of the earlier rumored actors to portray Fade was Ty Sheridan, who you may remember from Ready Player One. I saw this photo of him and it was like, yep, I could see him being Fade and taking on Timothy Chalamet. Another actor's name who I've seen tossed around is Harry Styles, who proved his acting chops in 2017's Dunkirk. I could definitely see him having that villainous edge to him. Now, this is a bit of a curveball, but could be a fit depending on what Villeneuve is going for, Asa Butterfield. He's got these piercing blue eyes and this look of innocence that could hide something truly evil. But I want to hear what actors you feel would be perfect for these roles in the comments below. Thanks for watching everyone, make sure to like and subscribe, and for more bad takes you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at ThinkStoryYT. Until next time remember, Daddy loves you very much.